So there are a couple of microorganisms that pose serious risks for consumers, and among them we have Listeria monocytogens, E. coli 0157H7, and Salmonella. Uh, the, the two ones that I mentioned first, Listeria and E. coli, they are the most fatal ones, and um, so whenever there is an outbreak, they tend to uh, take people to hospital, and sometimes uh, if they are immunocompromised, they can actually die. So if you can detect those uh, microorganisms as fast as we can uh, and as in low concentration as we can and uh, ideally in a processing plant real time uh, we can provide a much safer food uh, process material so especially for fresh produce where we don't have any uh, killing step that is effective enough nowadays we uh, if we are able to detect the contamination before it actually leaves the plant we are um, making sure that we have a safe uh, food supply so uh, in the case of Listeria, for example, uh, one of the major problems is that it's a microorganism that can go in the refrigeration. And that uh, in itself, just having the uh, fresh produce, for example, is stored in a refrigerate, refrigerator, uh, it allows them for, to grow to, con uh, to concentrations that are actually infectious to the human being. So that's why we wanted to be able to detect them as fast as we can. Uh, real time, that's what we call. Um, and we are working right now in developing biosensors. So biosensors, the idea of them is to be able to detect bacteria real time. And we use electrochemical approaches to do so. Uh, and the one that we are currently developing right now is that we don't need a pre-concentration step uh, for the sample that we are trying to detect. Uh, possible contamination, we actually use the sample as they are. and. Uh, what we have come up with is that we have a little, uh, we develop those uh, polymers, they uh, work as like cilia and they behave like, um, we are trying to mimic this bob squid, uh, Hawaiian bob squid uh, filtration system. So they uh, work as a capture uh, and release. So they, as the material passes through those polymers, they will grab the bacteria that we are interested in detecting in a much more efficient way. And uh, as they do that, they change conformation and we can actually detect using electrochemical approaches. So uh, we are working on developing that and particularly we are focusing on Listeria because of the risks that uh, an outbreak with Listeria can, call, uh, can affect the population.